Hi everyone. I thought I'd try something different today. Most people that do reviews decide that they're going to do them in a controlled environment, inside, you know, a table, good lighting, everything. I wanted to do something kind of unique. I'm here at a barbecue competition. It's a little backyard competition fundraiser for a local town sports team, a uh, youth sports team. And I wanted to take this chance for this grill eye that I was sent to review and use uh, at competitions. I wanted to take some time to open it right here and just show you how easy it would be to take it straight out of the box at a competition, set it up and use it. Now I'm recording on my phone that I normally hook it up to the app. So I've got my iPad here and I'm gonna be using that to show you how easy it'll be to hook up to that app. But first we're gonna do an unboxing and then later on I'll do a more thorough review. But this part right here will just be for the unboxing. So as you can see, it's got some very nice packaging, FDA approved, nice, very comfortable. We've got our stickers here, it shows you the probe on the back. All right, so we're gonna just pop some of these seals. Pardon the noise guys, we're really conversation on a lot of generators going around. All right, so we pop the seals, and just take this, leave, and slide it out. So as you can see, we've got our guide right up here at front, right? Comparing our probe, comparing our device, download the app, insert batteries, and power on. Shows you even more about launching the app, connecting your probes, tips, safety instructions, your provision. So you can see right there up front, they tell you where the instructions are so you can get a good start. I'm going to set these to the side. All right, as you can see, it's packaged really well. We have our two probes. Oh, now these are rubber. I thought they may be plastic, but that's really cool. The rubber, I like the cord control. Always having somewhere to put your cord when you're done, that's excellent. This is nice red metal with the hybrid probes. You can see caution, it's going to be hot because it's made out of metal. You get two probes with the unit. We get two clips in case you want to use them to monitor the temperature in your cooker. All right. As for the device itself, it's actually pretty lightweight, surprisingly. We'll see that they have this nice film, protective film, over the lens. You have your lights for where your different probes hook up. Status button. Right? You have a lock and unlock settings here on how to open the back, and you have your power button back here. I think, I believe this is your uh, alarm sound. As you see, we just slide this, and that becomes your stand. You can hang it however you need to do to position it. You have three probe slots on this side and three on this side. That gives you six total probes, which is awesome, especially for competitions where you're running multiple meets. This weekend we're running three pork butts, so I'll be definitely needing several of these pro spots. All right, set this to the side. Last thing in here are our batteries, so they do provide you with batteries. I've heard this thing has pretty decent battery life. Not too bad. All right, and then this plastic piece can come out. You've got a nice box. Overall, packaged pretty well. Um, you know, I would hope that if you're buying one shipped from Amazon Southern, they usually do pretty good about packaging, so hopefully that would be good for you. All right, so, you've got our unit, you're going to take it, it shows to slide counterclockwise to unlock, our back comes off, you see your battery compartment. You're going to just... I find if you twist these batteries, they pop right open, All right? Slider batteries in. There's a little arrow you line up with the unlock. Click it to close. One great thing about this, I've already noticed, they have ridges here for you to slide the battery cover. A lot of places will not have a way for you to do that. You'll have to use a, um, quarter or some kind of 
tool to help open the battery compartment. So having a physical way to open it yourself is great. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide the box out of the way. Bring in the iPad. Hey guys, sorry for the break. I just got back from dinner and the cook's eating. I want to show you, I've got the iPad set up, downloaded the Grill Eye app. I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to enlarge it just a little bit. It says make sure your Bluetooth switched on, which mine is. It says power on your Grill Eye. We hit the on button. Thing lights up. Press button to start. Press the button on your device. Congratulations, activated your device. You hit done. You're all synced up. You got your six different sets. Good signal, it tells you your battery. You have your options to set up alarms and everything. You got even a temperature graph to show you how things have gone. So anyway, that's how easy it is to set this thing up right out of the box. So I'm gonna hook up the probes later, get everything set up. I'll come back and uh, we'll shoot a little bit once it's actually rolling, but I want to show you how quick and easy it was to set everything up. Hope y'all were enjoying your time smoking and grilling. Hi everyone. I was just going to do a quick shot of some of the screens from the app to show you how the display looks. This first one here is based off of the temperatures right after I cooked for maybe 30 minutes or so. Um, things had started creeping up. I had my alarm set. You can see the little temperature alarm highlighted on these screens. I was only using the two probes at the time. Uh, a little bit later on in the cook, we have our temperatures now have called up to each other. Uh, temperature, I raised the alarm just a little bit higher before I went to wrap. Uh, just because I was checking to make sure things weren't going to overshoot on the top and the bottom. Once they caught up to each other, I set them back to the temp I normally wrap my butts at. Uh, we have our cooker set up. I was just using my rubber smoky mountain with the barbecue guru. Um, can't really see the display on the grill eye right there. Um, but I had it hooked up. In there, we have some of the ribs that we put on uh, afterwards. Uh, after we pulled the butts off, we then went into our food pork box, which came in 11 out of 25 teams in pork. Uh, but I thought it was really good pork, I thought it tasted great, and the butts and the temperature monitoring did great with it. Uh, then, as for our ribs, we came in 12 out of 29 teams of good ribs. Uh, they looked excellent um but i didn't feel like the taste was quite there and so we'll see you soon